Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to fix the memory could not be read or reference memory could not be read etc error that you get in Apex Legends. So basically this is gonna be an easy and a quick tutorial and before we start I just want to say subscribe to my channel and now we can start. So what you want to do is just open the uh, search bar or just click on it and type uh, uninstall and click on add or remove programs so you need to open that and basically this is a fix for windows 7 or windows 10 i'm gonna show you the uh, fix for windows 8 uh, at a later at a point later in this video so just be sure to watch the whole video and if you want to fix it on windows 7 or windows 10 then what you want to do is basically just scroll down and find microsoft visual c and basically just delete or uninstall uh, every single one of these so just click on it uninstall and do that for the 2005 2008 2010 2012 2013 and 2017 uh, microsoft visual c so what you want to do is basically just uninstall all of this i'm not gonna do it because it's basically just so much work and um, i don't need to do that but if you want to fix your problem then just uninstall all of this and now what what, uh, what you want to do is after you uninstall them just click on the link in the description and just re-download them uh, i'm gonna put uh, this link in the description just click on it and re-download uh, the 2017 15 13 12 10 uh, the, the 2008 and basically just download all of these install them or if you want to uh, if you want them to automatically download just uh, reinstall apex legends and it should be done and basically this is a fix for windows uh, 7 and 10 uh, the fix for windows 8 is to have two uh, updates installed so basically uh, you want to have the july 12 2016 update uh, 2012 r2 and the july 2016 update i'm gonna put the link in the description so i just click open the site and just download the package if you have a 32-bit then just download the x86 and if you have a 46-bit computer then just download the x46 package and install that and after you're done just install the second update uh, and basically that's it thanks for watching please subscribe like and comment